uh, decided to do some afternoon streaming uh, to wrap this game up because I kind of want to uh, continue on to some other stuff. I assume we're getting sound over here. Uh, hold on. We are getting sound, correct? That sounds like me talking. I'm always paranoid that this uh, software isn't going to pick up my voice. I don't know why. Um, I don't trust OBS that much. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, I know I wanted to play a good bit of this at night, but I'd kind of like to move on to another game. Uh, next on the docket is uh, Close to the Sun, which I kind of like. would like to play tonight. And we got so close to the end of this the other day that I just feel like we should just wrap it up. So I'm back for some afternoon streaming. And let's just get into it. I believe I was getting lost continuously the last time we were playing, so that was fun. Is this really the last Orbital time it checkpointed radios, me? Gathering personal audio logs. What? Nosy bastard, aren't you? You know this is probably for the best. All right. Yes. One down. Okay, that's two, three. Should have done this right away. Done. Time to go. That's that sucks. <laughs> Gotta be honest, not a fan of that. Uh, I wonder if we use a different one of these spots if anything's different. Probably not. Let's try. I can't believe I have to redo this again. This game is... that's insanely ungenerous at checkpointing. I mean, I get that, like, you can't really die in this game, so, like, you don't need tons of checkpoints, but... That's... Still pretty ridiculous. Nah, it doesn't change anything. We still start in the same spot. So, I guess the idea is that he threw us in a closet. Message for Josh. Hey, I got it working. I've kept it in my bank so Jim doesn't shut us down, but I have this fear boost moving almost instantly. It's amazing, and very dangerous. A bit of pressure build up and then it propels a few feet super fast and comes to a dead stop. I love it. It could be useful to clear debris or allow the sphere to apply force outside the station. Anyway, the firmware changes are on my laptop if you want to compile and try it out. But yeah, don't tell Jim. Let's combine this stuff. Uh, it looks like we still have our collectibles, because I've got a lot of memory recovered.
Uh, one sec. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, are there any computers or anything in here we needed? I don't really think so. I gotta say, the controls in this game can be pretty awkward. There's our boy. Yeah, he can. Last thing I need is you roaming around. Nice try, though. What? Wait, what happens now? What? Are you kidding me? This is stupid. Interesting. We have multiple. Is it like multiple attempts then? I'm surprised we could get caught. I shouldn't have tried that. Because now we gotta fucking go back again. This is Captain Jim Elias of Observation. Do you read me? We read you. Please stand by. Oh. So good to hear you guys again. This beats a 90 minute delay. Please stand by. What? Do you copy? GC, this is Jim Elias. Authorization 199248. Captain, we copy the authorization. Please stand by. The hell? Captain, can you please confirm Sam's status? Uh, Sam is offline. Uh, huh. It, uh, That's an interesting... There's no response or functions running at all. I don't know. We, we reset to try and get some of its core systems running again, but nothing came back online. It could be power, but whatever repair it needs is way above my head. Please stand by. Okay, I need to talk to Bill. William Stafford, where is he? 
This is Bill. Oh, Bill. It's good to hear your voice. Jim, we're gonna need a moment here. Bill, what's going on? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, I got you. Listen, Jim. I'm still here, but I need a minute. Sophie here will be her immediate point of contact. Bill, wait. Jim, please stand by. 2491. Message for home, Sam. Hey, it's me. Still up here. Still counting down the days till I see you again. It's all been amazing, and everyone's so nice. But this equipment barely needs me to be here. I don't know why they sent me. I could almost be at home with you. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just having a crappy day. I will try to swap shifts to speak to you in real time tomorrow. I don't understand why we don't have access to our map. Uh, well, like, I know we can't possess the other cameras, but I just want to see... UN3. Uh, is it time to look for more vents that we can break? Is that what we're on the lookout for? Oh. Where we go this way? Yeah. That's not really the way we need to be going. All right, C in one, U in three. U in four. I think that's further away, so we probably need to go. These vents do not stand out at all. Controls don't help either. Oh my god. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, there it is. What? Why? Why is it like this? What the hell? 
Why? Alright, whatever, that worked. Thought I needed to run up into it. Guess not. ULB, okay. There's our boy. Are you serious? How was I supposed to stealth that? Oh my god, this sucks. Is this supposed to happen? I don't think it is. Why are you doing a stealth sequence in a game like this? Why do game designers try to do this? It's just for like dramatic moments, but like it's like, guys, your mechanics are not built for this. The controls on that ball are too weird, and there's never been a time where I've, like, figured out what your human pathing is. So how am I supposed to know when he's going to go, Oh! I'm looking behind me! Damn! Like, foolish, man. Alright, well, I don't know. There were only three when we searched them all before, so I don't know if this is my last chance or what, but... Oh my god. Uh, I can't see. Did I go back out the same way I came in? I did. This game! Oh my god. It's not built for this. Jesus. He's just coincidentally not here now. That's weird. I am here. Shit. We're receiving a response from Sam. Please stand by. Sam. This is William Stafford from Ground Control at Houston. Authenticate. Precursor 1. Sam, we're in the middle of a conversation with Captain oh. Jim Elias. However, from Emma's previous message, we were to believe Jim was dead. I need Jim's crew tracker report, please. The tracker for Jim Elias is online. Report on any location or vitals data, please. The captain is located in both RU-6 and UC-1. Sam, that doesn't make sense. What are his vitals? Captain Jim Elias has expired. Sam, get me a visual feed on Jim. Show me him. Where is he? Hold on, we can view it from here. UC1 and RU6. Jim Elias is located in UC1. He looks okay. Why did it give two locations? 
was in RU-6. Jim Elias is located in RUS-6. Huh. We've received live feed from Sam in RU-6, where you appear to be. No, I'm in UC-1 at comms. What do you mean? Bill, I'm in UC-1. I'm on comms. It must be all data. Where is Emma, Jim? Emma is... She's gone. She's at a comms range to know for sure, but... Stand by. What about Emma, Sam? She hasn't broadcast again. What is her status? Okay. Ooh. Emma Fisher's tracker is online. Vitals and location, Sam. The location of Emma Fisher is currently unknown. Wait, is she alive? And her vitals, Sam? Emma Fisher has a low heart rate and is in critical condition. Can you help? What? Okay. Hang tight, Sam. Sam, I'm going to authorize a command security protocol. I need you to disable command terminals Alpha, Gamma, and Delta. I'm disabling safety protocols to allow you to carry out the command. Listen, uh, we need to terminate this communication for now. I'm sorry, but I need to get some higher ups in here. Uh, wait, 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 Bill. I need authorization to detach the RU-6 emergency shuttle. If I gather everything, everything, and detach, then you guys can meet me halfway. Stand by, Jim. Just don't do anything. I'm gonna die up here if you don't help me. Look, come on, it's me, Jim Elias. Authorization 1992. Fuck! You said all I had to do was get the station to the marker on track and monitor the event space. You said when we were close, I could leave an RU-6. What changed? You wanted me to get the crew to the marker and leave. I could continue the mission from the ground. I did that. I got them there. On time. Fuck, if you're worried about me going mad on the way home, you're a bit too fucking late for that. Huh. Sigma, Gamma, Rho. So objective, run Alpha, Gamma, Delta on command terminal in UC2. Hold on, so what's the what's the objective? Run Alpha, Gamma, Delta. Okay. Alpha, Gamma, Delta. Okay, Alpha is D76. D76 is... Oh, right. Alpha, Gamma, Delta. E forty three. What's the deal with the bypass switch?
So where are we supposed to... Is it just process of, process of elimination, maybe? This didn't work either, right? Okay. <clears throat> This can't be the way I'm supposed to do it, but I don't see why this won't work. Because I can only pick one. Alright. So five worked. Maybe it is process of elimination. Um, Alright, D76 was alpha. Then they want gamma, which is E43. I don't know, let's try six. It must just be process of elimination. kind of silly. I don't know why it's like this. The circuit board doesn't really do me- oh! Oh, wait. I didn't see that down there in the, uh, in the, uh, the hints. So wait, let's look at D. Where's D? I don't know how to interpret this. Is it two? Yep. Okay, what's delta? H62. Try eight. I'm confused. This says the protocol is offline. There we go. I didn't really understand that puzzle, but whatever. The stream is showing that's been carried out successfully. Good. Cut the line. We can't do this. No. Wait. We can't provide any emergency authorization at this time. Please stand by. Do it. No. Please stand by. Oh boy, time to proceed. Pyramid. Uh, F. Eclipse, I guess. Let's call that. Alright, Pyramid. F in the chat. And Eclipse. Jeez. 
jeez. Pyramid. F in the chat. Oops. Did I do it wrong? Pretty sure I was right. Oh. There's different pyramids now. They're getting they're getting clever. So wait, was it the second pyramid? F in the chat thingy? Yeah. Pyramid with an eye at the top. Ladle. Proceeding. Oh, shit. I guess you're the last one left. Sam. Stay there, mister. Jesus. Objective, kill this motherfucker. Respond call back. That's unavailable.
How do I figure out what the callback is? It's not like in the room, is it? Really? Over to Sam, come on, man. He's just going to stay here and get owned. This guy's uh, pretty... Not doing the best job. Let's lock it. Is this it? Is this your plan? I guess you're just going to stay here and let me do it to you, huh? Don't do this. I, I can still bring her. I'll go out. Come on, Sam. Jeez. Wait, did he have the black stuff in his mouth?
Sam. Sam. Come to me. Bring Emma back. Whoa. Oh, I have to go outside. Okay. Jim, you're in my way, dog. So does this actually like follow, like can you use this to, oh yeah, I think you can. Huh, that's helpful. I'm confused. Where do these... Where do these connect exactly? Well, here are, the, here are the flags, so I assume it's somewhere. It says it's this way.
It's leading me into this room, so does that mean there's a vent in here? This is where the flags are. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Ship getting spooky. Fuck. She was just out there. You're just fine. Everything when I was in that airlock. I felt it when Jim was attacking your mainframe. I felt your pain. I know why you brought me here. I know you've been moving the station closer and closer to the storm. I don't know if you realize it or not. It's time. You have to take us there. We'll need Earth's coordinates to broadcast the message. Find that for us, Sam. Find Earth coordinates in astrophysics. I've found those before. Set coordinates in... Okay. Okay, so it's far field. Take a photo. RA eight, Thirty-two. Uh, that would have been faster the other way. Fourteen. And twelve. Oh, am I going to broadcast?
There we go. This is Emma Fisher, on board Observation. We are in orbit around Saturn. We arrived here suddenly, maybe. Where is? Ago. Where is she? I don't Beginning see her. Make a control descent into the storm. Oh, the she's down there. On Saturn is. It's an answer. I know a lot of this won't make any sense, but Sam and I. Broadcast of all black box data from Sam. And I hope you can put this together in a way that makes sense. And that it was all for nothing. We'll broadcast as long as we are able. The alarm. The station is entering Saturn's atmosphere. Station orbit trajectory is unsafe. Recommend immediate orbital adjustment. You need to alter your trajectory again. We can't miss it. Use guidance and navigation controls in UC-1 when you're ready. Another picture time. Burn parameters. Aft thrusters is 10. Which one is this? Forward thruster, 77. Starboard thruster, 37. This would be tough to do, toggling between all of it without taking a picture. Port thruster is 72. AZM thruster? I don't even know what that is. 95. And NDR thruster is 78. Uh, burn time is 9. Is that close enough? Doesn't look like we can make it, Sam. The alignment is off. The station is under too much stress. We'll lose stability and explode on entry. 
The only way we can make it to the storm is to jettison the rest of the station. It's all dead weight anyway. Once you do this, Sam, there's no going back. Why are we doing this? Do, do it now. Oh, I could go collect. I could go collect. Access the controls when you're ready. <laughs> I could go collect uh, documents and whatnot. How close did we get to like getting all of those? 64 out of 85. Got a good bit. All right. Uh, prime procedure in UC2. Okay. It's the mainframe area. I can't even read this one. I guess we just do it to all of them. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's it complete, Sam. Here we go. We'll lock UC1 down completely and see ourselves in here. Okay. Doctor Emma Fisher, one four zero four one two. Initiate emergency station jettison procedure. One four zero four one two. Commence. Please repeat your previous request. Follow the list, sir. You can do this. Let go of your own self. Oh, I see. Is this all I'm doing?
Please repeat your previous instruction. Follow the list, Sam. You can do this. Let go of your own self. What list? You replaced... I'm so confused. I guess maybe those explosive bolts, like, do I have to go in there and then go inside that panel? That I kicked out? Oh yeah, I think so. Oh right. Ah. Can I just retry? Yeah. Ah! This is so made for a gamepad. This is made for a gamepad. Oh my god, it's so bad on Wazdy! What? Just end. Alright. Ah, uh, it's so rough on Wazdy, dude. Holy crap. Got it. Alright, jeez, that's rough. I don't like doing that. Okay, let's see if... Do the same with the other two links. Did I... lock myself out? I don't understand why this game is like this, man. It, it loves to confuse you for no reason. Like, why did the door shut and now do I have to find an alternate way to the other spots? Like, why is it like this? Why does every step have to be a mile with this game? It's like, we know what the player needs to do is get lost every three seconds. There's, there's hand-holding and then there's whatever this is, which is just bizarre. Oh, no, wait, no, this is the, okay, my bad, it closed the other door. All right, all right, all right, all right, my bad game. I, I see what you're doing. I'll see. That's a vent. This is where I need to go. Got it. Alright, let's do this mini game again. Ah! Oh! All right. Okay, game. Got it. Whew. One more to go. Hurry, Sam. We don't have much time. Okay. I don't know why we're doing any of this. It's so weird. Uh. 
wait. That is hatch. At least the pattern's the same every time. Yeah. Oh shit. What are we doing? So heavy. We made it. We made it. Sam. Sam, are you still with me? Can I respond? No. Where are we? What is this? Oh. Alright. With you. Okay, let's go. Where in the hell are we? This is nuts. So little of me left now. 
It's waiting for us, Sam. I don't know what's going on at all. This is crazy. Whoa. Wait, who was that? someone there. It's one of the others. It didn't work for her. Which Emma is this? I assume our Emma did actually die out in space when her helmet cracked. Right? are trying. How many are there? It's so sad. So few will make it. There it is. That's where we're going, Sam. I've seen it. This is every attempt coming together, where we are. It's not one place. It's all of them compressed. It's time. We're ready. Was infinity, uh, that, and that. I pyramid bottom. Maze. I have 
Whoa. Who are these people? What the hell? I have I have no idea what's happening. Maze, terminal, uh, three cubes. Okay. Maze, terminal, three cubes. Yeah, there's more of them now. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that ending. Uh, so... I feel like I'm not sure the game does enough to explain like why was that presence talking specifically with the ship's like AI with Sam to make him bring her there but then the humans were hearing bring her as well or at least Josh was And why her? Like, why was Emma special? Um, like, why did she matter? Um, hmm. Sony Interactive Entertainment works with this? Huh. Or at least, like, had something to do with it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, what, what did that, like, have to do with... I don't know. Like, I'm just not clear on, like, why... Like, what was special about the robot? What was special about Sam? And what was special about Emma? And, like, why did it matter that they showed up there and, like, converged? And then they're supposed to bring more people to that presence? Oh, cool. It's over Earth now. I guess. Or is this supposed to be Earth? I think so. Huh. Yeah, I don't exactly get it, but uh, this was a definitely an interesting game. Very different. I appreciated the, the concept of it a lot. Even if I think that the game was like needlessly obtuse about various like puzzles and like where to go at a given time. Um... 
in that respect, I don't know that it's particularly well designed, but I think that it's very uniquely designed and immersive for what it's trying to do, which is like, you know, have you inhabit the body of Sam and view everything on the station through that AI's perspective, which I did really appreciate. But I don't know how well that story really holds up or what it's really trying to say. I mean, what what is it other than just, like, an alien presence? Like, who, who decided to send them there? Like, the, just, like, NASA was like, oh, yeah, like, we decided that the captain should have to go and, like, go to this point. I don't know. Maybe there's something in, like, the documents of the game that, like, I missed. I'm definitely interested to, like... I'm wondering if somebody has done, like, a YouTube video or, like, a... Or, or like, a uh, explainer kind of thing for the story. Where they've maybe compiled all the details to sort of figure out, you know... Okay, here's what's going on in this game and, like, why it matters... Cause yeah, there's some, I don't know. That's weird. It's really weird. Yep. <laughs> uh, I didn't, based on how this game started, I wasn't sure I was going to be so mixed on it by the end, but I'm kind of, uh, kind of somewhere in the middle on it. Like, I think it's really cool and unique, but it didn't necessarily blow me away every step of the way. Um, even if I think it starts really strong and I think it has some really cool moments in it. It seemed to be going for like an arrival thing, but it didn't seem to really have an ending other than just like what, like alien invasion? Is that just the idea? But it's like... Huh, excuse me. It's like the fusion of like an alien with a robot, with a person, and none of them are really related to one another. It's like, it happened to be like, the ship's AI, which is you, fused with Emma, which is just some woman, fused with this alien hexagon presence, which, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. it. It seems like it's just trying to be, it seems like it's mostly about the presentation of how weird and cool that is, but that it doesn't really have, mm, I don't really think it has much to say about the subject matter or what it's doing. It seems like just like some alien invasion type stuff. I, if that's all it is, then cool, but I don't know. I like the way a lot of the story was presented I just don't really like the answers for a lot of it. Um, and I'm also not big on the characters. Uh, I feel like the game spends so much time unspooling that plot that I don't really care about any of the characters very much. Um, they're just sort of talking scientist people. And you only ever really get to meet three of them. Emma is present. Jim is present. Josh, you meet him for like a second. And I'm not really clear on why Jim was doing what he was doing. I don't know. Uh, I'm left with more questions than answers and not necessarily in a good way. A lot of the motivations for different characters in this game seem very awkward and ham-fisted. Um, but I'm just not clear on like why any of that stuff was going on or why anybody wanted to do what they were doing other than just like the presence compelled them to do it and if that's like the actual answer like yeah it just made all of this happen then I don't know it's weird also why can that presence speak to human beings and AI unless the idea was it was supposed to be really meta and it's like the the presence is speaking to you, the player, as a human and compelling you to do it. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, 
I'm going to wrap it up. Stop rambling. Uh, this has been Observation. Um, I'm probably going to go off, uh, have a sandwich <laughs> or something. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, later this evening I'll be back with uh, Close to the Sun, which is uh, like another kind of creepy maybe horror game. It seems like a Bioshock-like uh, but with, I don't think with any combat. I don't know. I know very little about these games before I'm lining them up for Twitch, which I think is what makes them so fun, is I don't really know what I'm getting into. So I'm going to be back with that next. Um, that's another uh, shorter-ish game like this, and so uh, that's going to be really interesting to see where that goes. So anyway, uh, this has been Observation. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's definitely been an experience, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.